Hello, developers. You've probably seen those incredibly complex theme switching solutions that require frameworks, build tools, and hundreds of lines of code. But what if I told you that adding beautiful, persistent theme switching to your project is actually much simpler than you think? The best part? This entire system is framework agnostic. It works with React, Vue, any web technology. And it's so lightweight that it won't impact your bundle size or performance. Let me show you the easiest way to add theme switching to any section of your website. No frameworks, no complex state management, just clean HTML, CSS, and a tiny bit of JavaScript. First, let's look at the HTML structure. The magic starts with one simple attribute, data theme. We add this to our hero section and it becomes our styling hook. Inside, we have a theme switcher dock with four buttons, each with their own data theme attribute matching the theme names. The rest is regular content, headlines, buttons, feature lists, all using semantic HTML. Now the CSS is where the real magic happens. We define our design tokens as CSS variables, but here's the clever part. We scope them under attribute selectors, so for data theme equals light, we define one set of variables. For data theme equals dark, we define another, and so on. Each theme has the same variable names, but different values. This consistency is what makes the switching seamless. Let me break down the CSS logic step by step. First, we define our base variables in the root and for the light theme. Then. For each additional theme, we create a new attribute selector block with the same variable names but different color values. The beauty of this approach is that when we change the data theme attribute on our section, all the elements using those CSS variables automatically update. No JavaScript style manipulation, no class name toggling, just pure CSS doing what it does best. Now let's talk about some advanced CSS techniques we're using. Notice the pre-blended alpha values, Instead of using RGBA at runtime, we define pre-mixed variants like primary 60A, which improves performance. If you're enjoying this deep dive into CSS variables, you'll love our video, CSS Variables Secrets, Ditch Static Values Forever, where we explore even more powerful ways to use CSS variables for dynamic layouts and interactions. Let's continue. Now for the JavaScript, it's surprisingly minimal we have just three main functions. First, initialization. We check if there's a saved theme in local storage or fall back to system preferences. Second, the apply function. This simply sets the data theme attribute on our hero section and updates the active button state. Third, event delegation. We listen for clicks on the theme buttons and call our apply function. That's it, about 30 lines of straightforward JavaScript. Let me walk through what happens when you click a theme button. The click event bubbles up to our dock. We identify which theme button was clicked. We update the section's data theme attribute and CSS takes over from there. The browser instantly repaints with the new variable values and we save the preference to local storage. The dock positioning uses env safe area inset top and env safe area inset right to avoid notches and home indicators on mobile devices and we have reduced motion support for users who prefer less animation. Accessibility is built in throughout. We use proper area roles like tab list and tab. We maintain good color contrast ratios in every theme and keyboard navigation works seamlessly. The real power of this approach is its scalability. Want to add a new theme? Just add another data theme equals new theme block in your CSS with the same variable names. Want to theme multiple sections independently? Put data theme attributes on each section. They'll work completely independently. Let me show you how easy it is to extend this system. Say you want to add a sunset theme. You'd add one CSS block with your sunset colors, add a button to your HTML, and the JavaScript automatically picks it up. No additional logic needed. Performance-wise, this approach is excellent. CSS variables are highly optimized in modern browsers. And since we're not manipulating styles directly with JavaScript, we avoid layout thrashing. The transitions are smooth because the browser can optimize the repaints. Now let's talk about some common pitfalls and how we avoid them. Flash of unstyled content. We initialize the theme immediately in JavaScript. Specificity wars. 
We use attribute selectors which have reasonable specificity. Browser support, CSS variables have excellent support in modern browsers. Here's your copy-paste checklist for implementing this in your projects. Add data theme attribute to your section element. Define your CSS variables under attribute selectors for each theme. Use those variables throughout your component styles. Add the minimal JavaScript for toggling and persistence. Test with accessibility tools and on mobile devices. If this tutorial helped you build better theme systems, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And if we reach 100 likes, I'll pin the complete source code in the comments so you can easily copy and adapt it for your projects. For those who want to take this further, check out our Beyond Basic Themes. Build a dynamic Vite React plus Tailwind site with CSS variables, where we scale this approach to entire applications. And if you're working with complex layouts, CSS Grid Mastery, Create Complex Layouts with Real Projects, will show you how to combine grid with theme systems perfectly. Thanks for watching. Go build something beautiful with themes. See you in the next tutorial.